What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Joe here from Blue Line Woodworks and in today's video I'm just going to go over how to set up a twisted board on a super simple planer sled like this. So let's get right into it. So a planer sled is so easy to make. You don't even need to watch a video about how to do that. Just take a scrap piece of material. This one is plywood with a little piece of pine, a square piece of pine that is glued to one edge. I also have a MDF version that's a little bit longer. So if I have a longer piece, I'll use this. Same thing, just a little piece of pine glued to one edge. So setting up a twisted board is super, super simple with a planer sled. All you're gonna need is a shim or two, some blue painter's tape, and some CA glue. Let's set it up. Okay, so we got our wobbly board here, right? So we're gonna put it on the planer sled. Now, for those of you wondering, this specific planer sled is 32 inches long by 12 and a half inches wide. 12 and a half inches wide is the maximum capacity of my thickness planer. And the little strip on the end here is one and three quarter inches wide. And it is about a half an inch of scrap material. So there it is, you can make it as long or as short as you want. If you have some nice in-feed, out-feed tables on your planer, make it longer, that'll be better. So, setting up the twisted, cupped, warped piece on your planer sled is super easy. I take the flush end, if you haven't cut a flush end on there, you can, it just makes it easier to line it up and push it up against your fence. And I push it all the way up against the front fence here and I push both corners down. So when both corners are Touching the bottom of the planer sled, you can see that this back corner here is way up off the board. So all we gotta do is throw a couple shims in here. Now this one is pretty, pretty big. There's a pretty big gap there. So this is probably gonna take two shims. And we're just gonna slide the shims in there until they're a little bit snug. And then when you can come back and push on all parts of this board and it doesn't wobble, that means it's good to go. So just mark on the planer sled where your shims are. I mark a little, a little mark on the shim itself. You don't have to do that, but sometimes you don't want to have the entire shim. As you can see, there's a lot of the shim off the sled. You know, you can take a utility knife to that and just cut it off. But there's only a little bit here, so I think it's going to be fine. But I just mark it on the actual planer sled. so that I know where to put my tape. So it's probably tough to see there. Let me get it a little closer. So I just made little reference marks here. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue painter's tape. If you guys haven't used painter's tape and CA glue to hold things down, you've been missing out because it's so easy. So I'm just gonna put one piece there. And then my two shims that were together, I'm just gonna put some tape on the bottom side. Works out, I can wrap it around the shims there, that way they don't move on me. Here we go, super simple. You got accelerator and the glue. This glue dries super fast. So you're just gonna put a couple drops of the actual glue on the piece on your board. Take some of the accelerator. Spray it there, all right, it's a little wet, not too much. And then I have my pencil line on the top of my shim. I have the pencil line on the actual sled itself and I'm just gonna stick it on there. 
Hold it for about 10 seconds. And it's good to go. That wasn't even 10 seconds, but it's good to go. That ain't coming off, right? So now I can put my board back on here. I know that that was in the top corner. I can push on all the corners again, just to double check to make sure that the board doesn't move. Now it's ready to send through the thickness planer. You guys might have seen a planer sled used with hot glue. That works too, but I found that the CA glue works a little bit better and it dries just, I mean, instantly. Now if you want to, if you're worried about the board moving around on you, you could put some tape on the underside of the actual board and tape it to the shims. I just don't ever find that necessary and I send it through the planer like this all the time and it works out great. So anytime you're sending something through a planer, right, I'm just using a DeWalt, it's not an industrial grade or anything, just take some shallow passes, you'll start seeing it come off and once it gets flat you can flip it over and send it through and get it to your regular thickness. So I'm going to run it now. Let's see if I can run the planer and the dust collector without tripping the breaker. Most of the time I just plane things outside because the power situation in here sucks. So that was super, super simple, right? So I've got one side nice and flat. See that? There's still the space there, not a problem. You just take this, the tape comes right off of the sled. You can wipe off any dust, flip your piece over. No more wobble. It's good to go. So now, you get rid of the sled and you just throw the workpiece through. Again, just take small, shallow passes and you'll start seeing it come off of the high corner first and then the whole thing will get planed down and then you can get it to whatever thickness you need. So I thought I would just share this. Most, many of you probably already know how to do this, but I just wanted to include it on my channel. This is gonna be part of my first cribbage board. I'm building a cribbage board. I think that's gonna be pretty fun. So. That'll be the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see how the cribbage board turns out. Give me a thumbs up, comment if you got any questions or if you just like the video or if you just got something to say. Put it down in the comments. That's it, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks as always for the support and I'll see you with the next video which will be this cribbage board which will probably come out and a couple days after this one. So I'll see you on the next one.